Nigerian, Nigerian. The junta leaders appeared on state-run television and declared that in order to preserve democracy, they've launched a coup. We, the security and defense forces, have decided to take responsibility and to put an end to a tense situation that many of you already know about. The Supreme Council for the Restoration of Democracy, of which I am the spokesperson, has decided to suspend the Constitution of the Sixth Republic and to dissolve all the state institutions. We ask the population to remain calm and to stay united around the ideals of the CSRD, which will be able to make Niger an example of democracy. The statement went on to appeal for calm, and reports over the past few hours have borne that out. The capital, Niamey, has been largely quiet since Thursday afternoon, when witnesses say they heard gunfire and explosions in the area around the presidential palace. Throughout the day, residents have been gathering to see evidence of the military intervention. But around the city, the situation is being described right now as calm. As the coup got underway, Soldiers burst into a cabinet meeting, reportedly killing several members of President Mamadou Tanja's guard before taking him into custody. He is believed to be being held at a military facility near the capital. Tanja first came to power following democratic elections in late 1999 and was re-elected in 2004. Constitutionally, he was eligible to serve two terms as president. However, last summer, nearing the end of his second five-year mandate, he decided to usurp the rule of law and ordered a nationwide referendum to amend the Constitution in order to abolish term limits and grant him sweeping new powers. The Constitutional Court, however, declared the move illegal. Tanja responded by abolishing the court. The same fate befell Niger's parliament after its members too declared his intent illegal. Opposition parties protested the vote and boycotted subsequent elections, believing the new mandate would give Tanja near total power. With the bulk of the votes cast by his supporters, Tanja won with an overwhelming majority. However, his actions have led to international condemnation, leading the 14-nation bloc of West African states to suspend Niger and Western nations to impose sanctions against his regime. In the last few hours, ECOWAS, the economic community of West African states, has called on all sides to resolve this crisis through dialogue. While in Washington, a State Department official said Tanja had no one to blame but himself. Owen Fay, Al Jazeera.